This is looking quite nice. I'm liking this. Gonna add a wooden roof. Put in these glass panes. Ooh, looking nice and homey. I do like how the grass has spread up here, but unfortunately I'll have to tear it all out. I, as much as I like a nice green carpeting, dirt ceiling just, just filthy. Don't like it. So I'm going to have to get some hardwood flooring. But this is all what I got left. So I have to go and kill the local forest. Oh, quiet you. Well, before I go off and do that, I think in the last episode I mentioned how one of the secondary goals was to make a stewing pot and go to the nether, get some netherrack, and light the stewing pot, <laughs> keep the stewing pot lit with heated, lit on fire netherrack. God, I am so not good at talking right now. Sorry, it's just been a long day. I was on the server that I'm a co-admin of. Building a giant tree. And it was just a little bit draining. Beef. There's my iron. Alright. So, stewing pots follow the same basic recipe as a cauldron, but you add a water bucket in the middle and a bone in the top, and you get your stewing pot. Right, I'm just going to set this up outside for now. I might eventually work it into my kitchen. I don't really know. But you set it up like that, and inside you can put, well, for a start starting, all you'll really be putting in here is flour. And as you can see, it's got a little heat thing like a furnace does, but the catch is you do not heat it by putting fuel into it. flammable objects underneath of it. I'm gonna get a bit of flour. Wood on fire, and then the little heating thing starts heating up, starts cooking. And it'll keep cooking as long as it's got heat. And now we have donuts. They don't do much, but it can be a nice, tasty snack.
off to chop down some trees. I'll see you in a bit. All right. So I harvested a bit of wood, but now I think it's time to make another portal the hard way. And that just requires a few buckets of lava. And a bucket of water. I also need to get a lot more coal. I'm starting to run out. If the lava was under this. Well, in this area. There it is. This is a pretty big pool. How, how far down am I anyway? Ah, that explains it. There we go. There's some coal. Stupid zombie. And for the record, I have not died once yet on this playthrough. Good enough for now. And back up to the surface we go. Eventually, I will replace this little ramp with stair. Oh, and the reason I keep throwing those seeds out into the water is because I don't want any more right now. I've got eight patches of wheat growing. That's enough for me right now. When I actually get a windmill up, I will plant a much larger wheat field. Do that a couple more times.
portal the hard way. Forgot my flint and steel at the house. Oops. gathered quite a bit of camp there. Go ahead and burn up all my food. There it is. And there we go. Oh, have to get some netherrack. And good fortune, we have another port right there. This is an alright spot. I was afraid that I was going to spawn floating in the air. Just have it happen far too many times. But, get a bit of netherrack. And, that's all I'm going to do here for now. There's nothing else I can really do. Fallen. No more seeds. But now we have a cooking pot that will cook for us. I think it's about time we thin down that herd a little bit. drop any of the food that you have in your inventory in here and just wander off. It's one of the best things about a scooping pot. And I think you can also toss eggs in there, get hard boiled eggs. But I think that's where I'll end this episode. So, till next time.
See you later. Mm -hmm.